if you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or any cheap PC games, use the referral link in the description. It will take you over to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods. And if you use the code CHEZ at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 4 of my player here on FIFA 16. We had a decision to make in the previous episode and whilst there was a lot of split opinion in the comments section, I believe that the general consensus, probably say 60 to 70% or so, were saying that yes we should go out on loan and a percentage of those saying that we should go out on loan said that Coventry would be a good fit for us. They are a decent side in League 1 and they do play, crucially, a 4-2-3-1 formation which is very, very very crucial when it comes to our development as a central attacking midfielder. They are currently in League One, and I will show you the League One table after uh, two games. They currently sit seventh. They are unbeaten, so uh, they're not exactly one of the worst sides in the division. So I am going to go to Coventry, but first things first, there were a couple of uh, alterations you guys wanted me to make to my pro himself, most notably that being uh, to change his boots, to change his uh, waist to untucked, and then to change the kit to a tight fit kit. Uh, so, a few of you were noticing that uh, my guy looks quite fat, and uh, I think actually it was pointed out by quite a few people that everybody's my player this year seems to be quite fat. I don't know why. You asked me to change my boots as well. I'm going to go with these Nike Magista uh, blue blue blacks because uh, I like the look of those, and they do actually go quite well with the uh, the Coventry kit once we actually move. And uh, another thing you wanted to do was me to show you my running celebration and my default celebration. My running celebration is the point to the sky, because of course we're trying to be the new Frank Lampard, so it makes sense to have that as my running celebration. And then the signature celebration, I've gone for one of the downloadable ones, the knockout uh, set low. We throw some punches and then pretend to get knocked out. I thought that was pretty, uh, pretty cool. So uh, we're going to go with that one. And uh, they are the only things that I was going to change that I can remember that uh, you guys asked me to. Tight shirt, untucked waist, short sleeves remains the same, sock kite remains the same. And I've shown you my uh, default running acceleration and finishing move. I haven't chosen the free kick style or penalty kick style yet because at present we don't need one. If we are put on uh, set pieces at Coventry, then uh, I will obviously select... A, uh, a free kick and a penalty style but we are on our way to the Midlands it's to Coventry for our first season on loan from Middlesbrough obviously getting first team football every single week is going to be crucial to our development as a player as well as obviously utilising the training function but with Stuart Downing coming into the club and uh, doing very well as well when he's playing on the pitch our first team opportunities unfortunately are going to be limited at Middlesbrough this season. However, we should be able to have first-team football here at Coventry uh, almost every single week. You can see here what my objectives are. They want me to keep an average rating of 7.1 or better, maintain a pass completion rate of 81% or better, set up or create or you know score or assist basically 18 goals this season and create over 56 scoring chances in general in the games, which is achievable, especially considering we should be playing every game in this particular uh or on this particular loan spell. You can see the starting lineup here. The goalkeeper's not the best, uh, but there are some decent players here, especially Sam Ricketts, most notably. There are some, you know, 70 pluses, which for League One are decent players. Raider Johnson as well. Chris Stokes isn't the best, but then you get some decent midfielders. We'll be starting probably ahead of Ruben Lameras at Cam. James Madison and Adam Armstrong are here as well. So you can see as well as Marcus Tudguy. There are a few decent players here. I'll show you myself uh, when we eventually get there. There we go. I'm actually all the way down at the bottom right now. But so far in our career, we've played one game, gotten one goal and an assist and kept a clean seat. So we are a very good player to this particular moment in time. I'm going to do some training, though. You guys weren't sure in the comments section whether I should show you training or not. So I will show you a couple of the drills and then the rest of the drills I will simulate. But I'll show you a couple of them. We'll do a passing one as well. We'll do the uh, precision pass one. Uh, we'll do a shooting one as well, and we'll do the headers and volleys one. And I'll I'll probably, actually, considering we might be taking free kicks, we should probably take the basic free kick one as well. I would do the medium one, but we don't have the driven free kick trait, so I can't do that one to get it underneath the ball, etc. Underneath the wall, sorry, but I will do penalties as well. So uh, I'll simulate a couple, and I'll show you a couple, and uh, I'll actually simulate the speed dribbling one. Then we'll play the precision pass or simulate the headers and volleys and I'll show you... Actually, no, I'll play the headers and volleys. We'll get a B in that one. We'll play the next two and then I'll simulate the next two. How's that? So uh, we'll only play one game in this episode just to, uh, you know, 
you guys occasionally said that you would like a an episode where we have some training and one game rather than two games in an episode. So you can consider that the first example of one of these uh, types of videos. But uh, this should be pretty simple. All I've got to do is just loft it to the guys in these boxes. And I presume I only have to... Yeah, because he's disappeared. Ah, that wasn't the best. I only have to do it uh, once to each. Wow, okay, my guy's precision passing apparently isn't that good when it comes to <laughs> long range. Either that or I'm just terrible. There we go. Try again. It's this guy. There we go. That was a lot easier. Maybe I was just overthinking it, perhaps. Well, I'll try that again and get an A, but uh, I'll retry it. But I'll skip to the next drill if you want, although I should be able to get this nailed on this time. There we go. We found him. It took its time, but we'll dink this one over. He's go we are going to reach him first time. Good. And then this guy should be able to reach be reached first time as well. And we have. Please give me an A for that. Thank you. And I said I was going to train the next one, didn't I? I'll just check the... Uh, yes. Headers and bodies. We will play the next one and then I'll sim the next two. This is effectively what it's going to be like when we do the training and game kind of episodes, just kind of give you a taste of the first episode was to give you a taste of what the live com was like in game. And as this is a new feature, uh, it does make sense that we should use it to uh, to some extent in the episodes. I'm just going to have a quick swig of water because I'm getting cut mouth. Bear with me. There we go. It does make sense that we should, uh, you know, include some of the training considering it's going to be a key part of, uh, of my player this year. So uh, I'm, I'm really pleased actually that they've involved the, uh, the training aspect in my player. Oh, how's that for a left-footed volley? Not bad for a 68-rated central attacking midfielder. I'm hoping that we can... I don't know, what, what do you reckon? Let me know in the comment section down below. What do you think our target rating should be for the end of this first season? Obviously, oh, that was terrible. Obviously, we're on loan now in League One. I'll volley this tops. Oh, very nicely done. If we could do this in-game, that'd be fantastic. What do you think our target rating should be? I'm hoping, to, with the, all the training as well, to maybe get myself into the mid-70s. Definitely, If you were to offer me, say, a... 75 or 76 rating at the end of this first season. I definitely, definitely take it. So uh, that's my plan, at least. I I can't remember. Oh, I missed. I can't remember how much we grew on the first season on my player last year. I'd actually have to. It was only a B. Never mind. We'll uh, we'll skip the rest and uh, assume the rest, and then go to our first game as a Coventry City player. But yeah, I can't remember what, how much we grew the first season when we were a striker at Cambridge the first year. Oh wow, D for basic free kicks. Thanks, game. Never mind. We got a B on penalties, and we will advance to the first game as a Coventry City player. He says, which should be Blackpool away on the twenty second, and will be. You presume I'm going to start every game. They do play a four two three one formation, which obviously is crucial for our development. So I'm glad you guys said yes to. Uh, this particular thing and we will be able to train again the day after this game so uh, we can't, obviously can't train on a match day because we have a match but we'll jump into this game now Coventry City against Blackpool our first game as a Coventry City player and hopefully we can come away with maybe an assist maybe a goal but definitely three points is the main aim oh and it's put me on world class we'll drop that back down to professional there we go just to make it more entertaining there we go we'll jump in oh lovely tackle by Vince Lott on their midfielder there. My guy took his time to take his first touch, almost danced around the ball for a little bit, but we have brought it away. Took guy to Murphy, into Haynes. Good touch by Fleck. Fleck will play it to me because I'll call for it, and we could look for Took guy through that gap. In fact, we could look for Fleck through that gap. I've told him to have a shot, he has done, but it's gone well wide, unfortunately. First chance we've created, though. That will go down towards the 56 that the manager wants us to create this season. Already off to an attacking start here at Coventry. Things are looking good so far. Get a tackle in on Cubero. That's my fifth standing tackle in my career. I'll lay it across to Fleck. He could look for the man through the middle, which is Tudge. Tudge gets it out wide to Murphy. Murphy's going to squeeze it through to me. I'll dink it over for Tudge. It's not going to reach him, but I could reach the ball again. I haven't. It's drawn to Tudge. Coventry lead 1-0 in the 20th minute. We were heavily involved. I don't know whether that will count as uh, me creating the chance. It was my me getting tackled that actually led to the ball dropping to Tuke there. But we have taken the lead away from home against Blackpool. Really nice move, actually. Nicely into me there. I tried to dink it through, and it was a tackle there that stood the ball up. But a brilliant header from Tuke into the far corner. He's 34 years old, Tuke, experienced striker, using every ounce of that experience to place that ball really nicely into the bottom corner. Coventry 1, Blackpool 0. Free kick for us in a weird position. We're going to go short with it. Okay, never mind. Where am I in reserve in comparison to the box? On the edge. 
is O'Brien. I'm going to drop, but O'Brien pushes forward. There's a nice ball into Tuke. Tuke finds me. We'll hit it first time on a right foot. It's well blocked. It's going to drop to us again on the edge of the box. Do we look for a teammate? I might do. We'll squeeze it through to Tuke. He has the shot. Tuke with a follow up again, and he hits the outside of the post. So close to a second goal. We are creating chances left, right, and centre here. And that could have ended up in the back of the net if that back pass was on target. Madness. Corner then for uh, Coventry. It's coming in towards the edge of the box. I'm waiting for it to drop. It will drop to me on the edge. I'm going to have a shot from distance. It's well blocked by Nile Ranger. Brilliant feet there to dance around the man. We'll lay it across. I didn't try and use fancy footwork there. It just so happened that that was the way that it went. And Tud Guy gets a second. Half an hour in. Coventry 2, Blackpool 0. Dropping it down to professional has definitely livened things up for this My Player series. And this move to Coventry, seemingly so far, is going absolutely perfectly. Tud Guy with a brace. Coventry 2, Blackpool 0. Fleck, I'll call for this. He's not going to play it to me. He's going to give it to Phillips. But Phillips will give it to me, so we'll lay it off again to Vince a lot. Is he going to come back through this gap to me? He will do. I try and dink it over to Tugge. He's in behind for his hat trick. He's hit it first time. It's dropped back to him. Tugge taken out from behind. Penalty to Coventry City. Is this going to be a red card for the defender, though? That's the big question here. Tugge was clearly in a goal scoring opportunity. He was just about to put it into the back of an empty net. He's come through from behind, wiped him out. What colour card is Robertson going to get here? Come on, referee, do the right thing. I don't know, but it looks like Tugge is going to take the penalty anyway. No, it's going to be Fleck to take the penalty. Okay. Denying Tudge the opportunity of a hat-trick. Denying me the opportunity of a debut goal. But Fleck to make it Coventry 3. And he has put it away. We are number 13 right now. I will have to check squad numbers to see if I can steal that number 8 shirt. My guy's running off past the man rather than celebrating with him. I would like to have the number 8 shirt, but... Perhaps we should earn the number 8 shirt rather than just stealing it off someone else. Let me know in the comments section whether you think I should just automatically change myself to number 8 and uh, be like the best number 8 in the, uh, in the club. Or maybe we should stick with the squad number that they've given us and hopefully have the number 8 when we go back to Middlesbrough. You'll have to let me know. Here's Cabero pushing forward, tackled, runs straight into the centre back there. We do appear to have good defenders. Two 70 plus rated defenders will hopefully give us a really good solid backbone here in this Coventry side. That ball has eventually made its way to me. I did call for it, so I'm glad that he was able to give it to me in that situation. I'll call for it again here. We could quickly turn and get it to Tugge. We have done. Marcus Tugge should get a free kick there and has done. I'm going to take it quickly, shall I? Go on then. We'll give it back to the right back who can go down the line perhaps or maybe feed me in again. I'll lay it to the man down the line then instead. Here's O'Brien. O'Brien could look for me. No, he's looked to pick out Tugge. Keeper comes with a punch. I'll call for this. He's going to give it to me. I've not really got much space here, but we can squeeze it through to Vince Lott. Told him to have a shot. Perhaps I shouldn't have there, but never mind. Another shot comes in. 3-0 at half time is probably going to be the score at the break. Really dominating performance here from Coventry City. It's looking like an inspired decision to come out on loan to Coventry City. We could be having a very good season here. Fingers crossed this continues in the second half and for the rest of the season. Voice. Oh, he's given it straight to me. We intercepted it and Vince Lott's given it to Tugge, whose touch was terrible, so never mind. We just shot up by a whole 1.0 with that one interception for some reason. Went from 8.1 to 9.1. I mean, I won't complain. 9.1 would be very nice as a rating, considering they want, what was it, 7.1 from us as an average here on loan? Which is definitely achievable. I'm not sure what my pass accuracy is so far in this game, but we've really had a fantastic debut here at Coventry just the team in general is playing very very nice football we keep the ball quite well as well and Blackpool just haven't looked like they're uh, a challenge for us at all in this one Vince Lott to Fleck I'll call for it here he'll give it to me I'll let out wide to uh, Murphy I'm in the middle again he's going to return it to me I'll let it across oh it's going to look for Tugge there we've won a free kick though now, who's going to take free kicks from this sort of range? Is it going to be me or is it going to be someone else in the squad? It's going to be Fleck. It looks as if he's going to be our set-piece master. I'll call for the ball, though. And hopefully, he'll dink it my way. He's not. He's laid it to the edge of the box to O'Brien. O'Brien across to Murphy. Back to O'Brien again. Into Vince Lott. I'm just going to drop. I really, really want to try a long shot, but I'm just not going to have the space on the edge of the box at the minute. And, oh, we almost got caught out there. We've had a free kick right on the edge of the box and then ended up going all the way back to our centre-backs. But we still might have a chance. Phillips looks for the ball through. He might get there, in fact. He has done. And we're going to win a corner. Pace of love from the winger there. Did really well to work his way out to that. Powered down the outside, the defender. will call for the cross. It's not going to reach us, unfortunately. Might win that, though, Haynes. Has done. Here's Adam Armstrong. 
who I think has come on as a substitute, I'm not sure, call from this from O'Brien, that wasn't the best of passes, but we'll lay it across there to Fleck, he might have a shot, he hasn't done, Vince a lot though, that was our 25th through ball, still good possession football here from Coventry City, we may end up with a chance eventually, if we don't I'll be really disappointed, Phillips into Murphy, lovely footwork by Murphy to get around the outside the defenders, the cross might come from Phillips now, I've called for it, flicked on, it's on target, it's a save comfortably though for Leatherend, never mind, 20 minutes still to go, 3-0 still the score, it's been comfortable, so far, although it would be nice to maybe get an assist or goal outright for ourselves before the game is over. Vince Lott could go down the line, thought about it, but I think he just ran offside. Vince Lott to Haynes, could lay it to Murphy, instead he might go inside to uh, Adam Armstrong. He's going on all the way here, the shot goes just wide, chance of a fourth. I was going to call for that to take it off him, but he was on such a nice run, I decided to let him go. was expecting the through ball to Adam Armstrong, who would have had a simple one-on-one -on -one finish, but in the end, he decided to lash at it. I can't have a go at him for it, though, because the amount of times I'm going to be doing stuff like that in my career will definitely outweigh the amount of times where I'll be getting annoyed with the CPU for doing exactly that. So I can't have a pop at my teammate for trying to have a go from distance. And we'll call for it here from Armstrong. We burst around. Can we score on our debut as well? We can! We're going to get the chance to do our new celebration that we showed you earlier. Box, 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 box. Being knocked out. 4-0 Coventry. Brilliant stuff. A goal on our debut as well. We scored a goal on our debut for Middlesbrough and we've scored a goal here as well. Fantastic stuff. Around the goalkeeper into the top corner. Well, we scored a goal on our competitive debut, should I say, because, well, of course, we were involved in the pre-season friendlies and didn't score. But that's actually a very impressive finish. Couldn't get more into the top corner. Coventry 4... Blackpool nil, and that is probably a dream debut, it has to be said. That's going to bring today's episode to a close in a moment. We will go back and see if we've actually gone up a rating, etc., because we got a couple of accomplishments in that game. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed, of course, and subscribe if you haven't already. Check the channel page for anything you might have missed over the past few days. There's been a lot of content going up. Obviously, there's two videos a day, every day on the Chesnoy Gaming channel, and I stream every evening as well. I'll be doing so again tonight, so check the links in the description to my Twitter Twitch and to my Twitter most importantly but also to Instagram and Facebook if you want to follow me on either of those and uh, hopefully we can go up a rating here we do have a training oh, we got man of the match man of the match performance on our debut and as you can see in the top left we have gone up to 69 overall 97% pass accuracy no assists, but one goal, three key passes. It doesn't say chances created there, unfortunately, but we will be able to... Oh, there you go. As soon as I say that, we get an accomplishment for getting five chances created. Wow, we dominated that game. That's the thing. We dominated the game, but I think if we'd have been on world class, that may have ended nil-nil. So I'm glad that we dominated the game. And then as soon as we get better as a player, we will be able to step it back up to world class and have more of an influence on proceedings but uh, plus 23 percent is what our overall uh, value has gone up by since we started this career mode visions up two, short pass up one we're up one overall to 69 although we started at 67 so we'll have a look how many chances did we create in that game uh, it doesn't actually give me a figure does it that's frustrating does it give me a figure i want you to create nine chances in the next few fixtures and it, again it doesn't give me a figure for how many we got there that's really frustrating. I wanted to check. Never mind. Uh, maybe they'll patch that in because it used to give you a figure. It used to have like a little hovering thing above it to let you know how many you'd got and so you could tell how far you were along. But never mind. I'll quickly go to the squad report so you can see my stats. There we go. We're up one overall. Ball control up one. Attacking position up two and interceptions up two. Short passing is 74. So is acceleration and sprint speed is 76. Only finishing a 58, but that was a very good finish from us into the top corner. That is going to bring today's video to a close, guys. I'm waffling now. Thank you very much for watching. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.